welcome to an epic my damn toys video this shit is not for kids today ladies and gentlemen we are finally here it is finally time for the mdt hell's gate preview and predictions video where we run through the entire hell's gate card breaking down the matchups telling you everything that's led up to these matches everything in between breaking down the matchups and then i'm going to leave it up to you guys to make your own predictions videos and comment down below who you think is going to win the matches and all of that i think there's like six or seven matches on the card in total we have a lot of championships defended including two elimination chamber matches which i'm very excited to film we have the mdt and elite championships both being defended in elimination chamber matches i've never filmed those before so i am very happy to film those you know have a new challenge for each show and it's going to be epic hell's gate is our our last stop on the way to my damn nation guys we have hell's gate and then we have our weekly shows of vindication and mdt live and then it will be time for my damn toys equivalent of wrestlemania which is my damn nation we put a lot of effort into these shows you guys know that the royal rumble was our last show which was epic i freaking loved it it was very intense took me a while to you know finish and everything so definitely give me some time to film this you guys know how that works best case scenario it'll be out around friday the 13th that's like the aim goal but if i don't reach that it will be out before the new year so i want to give myself that time frame of window. It's about a two, two and a half week window there and I want to give myself enough time so I'm in the right state of mind to film right state of mind to edit and all of that. So at the end of the video guys, after you watch I want to I want you to comment down below what you think is going to take place as well as I want you to make your own predictions videos. Now this is where you have a chance to win a figure from My Damn Toys. So what we're going to do is if you make a MDT Hell's Gate predictions video, you know you run through the card and you break down each matchup. Give me your analysis who you think is going to win. Once the show is released, whoever does the best on their predictions as far as getting them correctly. You can also guess down in the comment section below. Whoever gets all the matches correct or the most matches correct, say we have like 12 people get all the matches correct or predict them correctly, all those names will go into a hat where we will do a random drawing. Whoever's name is drawn out of the hat will win a figure from me. So that's just a little fun for you guys. So make your predictions videos. I will like, comment, and watch every single one of them. And I would really, really appreciate it. That's my favorite part is your guys' analysis of it, what you guys think of the feuds, your favorite parts, your least favorite parts, uh, breaking down each matchup and all of that. I freaking love love it. So what we're going to do is run through the card, guys, and give you my thoughts on everything, how they led up to the feuds. And once we get to the end, you know, uh, the, the video will be over. So let's get into this card, breaking down everything that will take place at Hell's Gate as far as the matches are concerned, and let's shut the hell up and get started. So starting off with our first match, guys, we have a singles match for the United States Championship between Jack Swagger and Kurt Angle. If you guys watched MDT Live episode number 15, you guys know that Kurt Angle surprised everyone, returned to MDT following the Royal Rumble. Nobody had heard from him. Showed up you know, to confront Eric Bischoff on why he didn't receive an MDT Championship Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup following his performance at the Royal Rumble. Out of nowhere, you know, Jack Swagger jumps this man, beats the hell out of him, chokes him out with the gold medals, hits him in the back of the skull with the U.S. title. After this attack, you know, Kurt Angle was not having it. He confronted Eric Bischoff and he wanted a championship match and it is granted. So this is one of the matches that has been fully announced here. You know, not a ton of story built on this one, but the title match was granted to Kurt Angle to take on Jack Swagger. So the 100% American American, All-American Jack Swagger will be defending his United States Championship versus Kurt Angle at Hell's Gate. Jack Swagger's been cutting these vignettes, you know, talking himself up. One thing you do have to keep an eye out on is if Jack Ryder and MVP were not besides Jack Swagger when he took out Kurt Angle, but you know they will not be far behind, and I would be shocked if they did not show up in this matchup at some point. But that is our first matchup is Kurt Angle versus Jack Swagger for the United States Championship. Flipping it over to the Vindication side of things, guys, we do have the MDT Tag Team Championship match between the Young Bucks taking on the Wyatt Colt in Eric Rowan and Luke Harper. Now, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan did win the number one contender tournament for the MDT Tag Team Championships. They defeated Rusev Day in Aiden English and Rusev, and then they defeated the Fashion Police in Tyler Breeze and Fandango to earn this championship opportunity versus the Young Bucks. You guys already know the Wyatt Colt and the Bullet Club have been going head-to-head, -head, like beating the hell out of each other left and right, the full faction versus the full faction. Multiple episodes of Vindication just breaking down where both sides are just beating the shit out of each other. And it is going to come to a head here at Hell's Gate between the tag team champs of the Young Bucks and the Wyatt Colt. Now the Young Bucks are definitely undersized in this matchup. Rowan and Harper are two massive individuals so they're definitely going to have to have their boats in a row to take on this tag team. And a lot of people are undervaluing the Bucks. A lot of people I think are selecting Harper and Rowan to win this matchup. But we will obviously find out at the show if this is the case. This is definitely a matchup that I am very much looking forward to. 
Next up, guys, we have the Iron Man Championship match between Cody Rhodes taking on Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Football, Johnny Gargano. Now, this match ultimately came about when the Iron Man Champion Cody Rhodes came out after defeating Rusev at the Royal Rumble. You know, he was bragging on himself, really having a big head about himself, coming out, cutting a challenge, pretty much, an open challenge to anyone on the roster. And Johnny Gargano had just recently signed with Vindication in MDT, and he shows up out of nowhere, completely shocking everyone. Nobody knew what the hell was going on, and he pretty much challenged. Challenged Cody Rhodes, and Cody Rhodes with his big head said, you know what, Brad, let's go ahead and do it. Let's let's settle this in the ring at Hell's Gate. And you guys know that the Iron Man Championship is a stipulation-only matchup, which means it must be defended in a stipulation sort of match. Now, this can range from a freaking Iron Man match all the way up to a, a freaking hardcore match. No word yet officially on what this matchup is going to be, but the rumor mill right now is saying that it's most likely going to be a street fight. Now, Cody Rhodes, Johnny Gargano, street fight sounds pretty damn good to me, Brad. But again, take this with a grain of salt. Nothing goes approved just yet we're waiting on final word Next up, guys, we have a death match between the Extreme Champion, Kevin Owens, the standard of MDT Live, taking on a mystery opponent. Now, this is a mystery opponent because the fans are going to decide. Kevin Owens has been running through all the talent on the MDT Live roster, beating the hell out of guys left and right, just making a list of opponents that he has ran through. Heath Slater, Ryback, Jinder Mahal, Christian, No Way Jose, Bobby Lashley, John Morrison, all falling victim to KO. And now he has put a challenge to the general managers, to the fans, to the MDT higher-ups, to make a of talents for him to face, and the fans are going to decide who the hell he's going to face. Now, I posted on the YouTube community tab, you know, talking about who you guys would like to see. We got over a thousand comments on the tab. I thought that was amazing, guys. Thank you so very much for voting. I also got tons of, like, hundreds of messages on Instagram submitting your votes. We are currently mulling over the total number of votes, but it seems like it's going to come down to two or three guys, and again, in the event of a tie, it will be a multi-man match, so Kevin Owens could have his hands full, just like he did at the Royal Rumble come Hell's Gate. Now, whoever ends up winning this from the list of superstars as you guys can see on the screen. I think no matter who wins the vote that Kevin Owens is definitely in for a challenge and I cannot wait to see what the hell happens after what we saw at the Royal Rumble. So Kevin Owens is definitely has his work cut out for him but he has been running through the entire roster of MDT Live and he is ready to go come Hell's Gate. Next, guys, is the World Tag Team Championship match between the Usos taking on Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Now, this one is a very long one, man. I mean, this one has been culminating for a while. This one goes all the way back to before MDT sold out. So you guys know that Seth Rollins turned on Dean Ambrose, taking him out. The Shield was alive and well, but, you know, Dean Ambrose kept losing matches and kept losing matches, making the Shield look terrible. Seth Rollins had had enough. He snapped on Dean Ambrose, challenging Dean Ambrose to a one half of the World Tag Team Championship match at sold out in a no disqualification qualifications match. The winner of that match would be the uh, one half owner of the world tag titles and the loser would be banished from the shield forever. Of course the winner would be alongside Roman Reigns to remain in the shield. Now behind the scenes the Usos made a deal with Eric Bischoff. They made a bet and they said if Dean Ambrose were to beat Seth Rollins they would get an automatic world tag team championship match. Bischoff not knowing exactly what was going on agreed to this matchup and at MDT sold out at the in the notice qualification match Roman Reigns came out of nowhere after Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose beat the absolute hell out of each other. Roman Reigns helped Dean Ambrose defeat Seth Rollins. So Roman Reigns is celebrating with Dean in the ring. You know, both of them are World Tag Team Champions now. They're all celebrating. And then Roman Reigns spears Dean Ambrose. The Usos came out and uh, they stood tall over him, forming the bloodline. Roman Reigns and the Usos were in on it all along. They formed the bloodline. The Usos would get their automatic championship match, winning the tag titles after Roman Reigns laid down. And following this, the Usos and Roman Reigns have just made it hell for Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, just beating the shit out of them. Hank cuffing him to turnbuckle post, leaving Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins for dead multiple weeks in a row, costing Seth Rollins his Royal Rumble entry, almost costing Seth Rollins his Royal Rumble victory, and just multiple weeks in a row of just fighting and just beating the shit out of each other. So Eric Bischoff had a wild idea. Since no one was a number one contender for the Usos, no tag teams around, he said, you know what? Screw it, man. Put Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose together. Seth Rollins convinced Dean Ambrose to agree to it, and they are going after the Usos here at Hell's Gate for the World Tag Team Championships. So we have the Bloodline Usos taking on the former disbanded Shield. I mean, can Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose even get along after what they've been through together? Seth Rollins turning on Dean. Dean beating the shit out of Seth. I mean, these guys have literally beat the shit out of each other so much. I mean, can they even get along and let alone defeat the Usos, who are the World Tag Team Champions? We're going to find out at MDT Hell's Gate. 
Next up, guys, we have the MDT Live MDT Championship Elimination Chamber match between these six men. Velveteen Dream, Chris Jericho, CM Punk, the MDT Champion Roman Reigns, Cedric Alexander, and Jeff Hardy. Now, all these men did qualify for the Elimination Chamber, and all six of them are going to be locked inside the Elimination Chamber going after the MDT Championship. Now, Cedric Alexander and Roman Reigns did build some momentum, including CM Punk, all three of them winning matches on MDT Live, the go-home show before we got to Hell's Gate, and so they do have a lot of momentum coming in here. Of of course, CM Punk did win the last chance battle royal to get the number one spot, so he will automatically be the first one entered because he got that last chance in there. Because he filled the last spot, he will be first to enter. Now, we don't know the remaining order, but we do know that Cedric Alexander does have the number five spot, and we do know that Roman Reigns will be at number four or number six because he defeated Jeff Hardy. The rest of them are completely random. From what we've seen between Cedric, Chris, and Velveteen Dream in that triple threat match, I'm very excited to see how all these men tie up in the chamber. Whoever does win this match will go into My Damn Nation as the first ever MDT champion going into My Damn Nation. So it's a very big deal on this. Can Roman Reigns survive? Can Roman Reigns survive and go on to My Damn Nation with the MDT championship or will one of these lucky men have that opportunity to take that championship away? Seth Rollins did win the Royal Rumble, so the winner of this matchup is going to go on to My Damn Nation to fight Seth Rollins to defend the championship. So not only is the MDT championship at stake, guys, but headlighting My Damn Nation is also at stake. Who's going to walk out of the chamber with the championship, guys? Comment down below. But the beauty of Hell's Gate, guys, is that there is not only one Elimination Chamber, but two Elimination Chamber matches. And the second one is the Vindication Elite Championship Elimination Chamber featuring Adam Cole, AJ Styles, Elite Champion Kenny Omega, Aleister Black, Bray Wyatt, and Shinsuke Nakamura. Now coming into this match, guys, Kenny Omega has zero friends. He will be locked inside the Elimination Chamber with five men that want to beat the shit out of him. No Bullet Club, no Young Bucks, no Marty, no Cody, all alone inside the chamber. With Adam Cole, who he kicked out of Bullet Club and embarrassed and beat the hell out of multiple occasions. AJ Styles, who he crossed paths with at the Royal Rumble and also beat the shit out of him at the Royal Rumble before he even made his way to the ring during the ma Rumble match. Aleister Black, who he has been getting in fights with. Aleister Black hit him with a black mask when he was, you know, under the goat mask multiple times. The Wyatt Colt and Bullet Club have obviously been feuding multiple weeks in a row. Bray Wyatt is in the same case. And then Shinsuke Nakamura, in the first episode of Vindication ever, he put him on the shelf by putting a chair around his neck and and putting him on the shelf for many, many months with a neck injury. Kenny Omega has zero friends in this match, man. It's going to be a really tough task for him. Not to mention, guys, you have two members of the Wyatt Colt in Aleister Black and Bray Wyatt, who obviously are on the same page. Could they could they help each other out? You know, beat the hell out of everybody and, and wait to the end. you got to think that Aleister Black and Bray Wyatt are definitely going to be helping each other out in this match, both being from the Wyatt Colt. Will Aleister Black, you know, obey Bray Wyatt's orders? You know, what, what, what the hell's going on there? I just know that Kenny Omega, the elite champion, not only going into this matchup, he already has a target on his back, but being that he has ties to all these men in this matchup and not in a good way, he is definitely going to have a massive size target on the back of his skull. I think that this is a very loaded chamber. I think both chamber matches are totally loaded, and I cannot wait to see what kind of hell is unleashed in both of these chamber matches at Hell's Gate. But that pretty much does it for the entire MDT Hell's Gate card, guys. I think it's six or seven matches. Again, I can't remember the total number, but I'm very excited to get started on filming it. We're going to have an arena tour very soon soon. And again, comment down below what your predictions are, as well as making your own predictions videos. So if you make your predictions videos, you will run through the entire card, breaking down, you know, the analysis, who you think is going to win the matches. Just name it MDT Hell's Gate Predictions. I will find it on YouTube. I will like and comment on every single one of them. And again, if you get the most predictions right, or you get all the predictions right, your name will go into a drawing to win a figure. It will be an elite, by the way. But I think that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, comment down below your predictions. Make your predictions videos. Go vote on who you want Kevin Owens to take on in that death match. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.